The concerns by the minister follows a new report indicating that Uganda is likely to suffer if it continues to over rely on hydroelectric facilities. This means that over reliance on biofuel is a big risk that the country is running. Only that, there is no indigenous research done on these topics. Professor Kamuntu says even when the human resource is available, the political will to invest in research has always been wanting. Transform means you will have to have infrastructure. Infrastructure meaning the physical infrastructure as well as nature-made infrastructure. You have to have the roads, you have to have electricity, you have to have ICT in our time, and you must have to make these economies competitive. Competitive meaning you must produce goods and services priced favorably on the international market. Professor Kamuntu also notes that problems of poor research have not only been with next in the energy sector, but the health sector as well. In the health sector, he says this has been compounded by the inability of parents to look after their families, a fact that has accounted for a big percentage of stunted children in the country. In Uganda's case, 33% of the children are stunted. Stunted precisely because you are in a peasant economy where you are simply eating what you produce. If your body requires vitamins and you don't have them, if it requires proteins, proteins are in meat and fish, and you don't have cows and, uh, and milk, your children are stunted because you don't have money to buy what you don't produce. In Karamocha, many families do not have enough food to last through a hunger season between harvest and more than one in four children under five is stunted. We bring to you the story of baby Moses who was abandoned by her mother and later picked by good Samaritans. Left by his mother. His name is Moses. And um, the only reason we knew that he was left is because some of the mothers that were around told us and um, none of them tended to him, none of them picked him up. Um, one of our fellow team members found him, Carissa found him, and um, the bus actually almost hit him because nobody knew he was there. And um, it's just so sad to see these children. Minister Kamuntu, however, stressed that what is needed to avoid the situation is to provide children's caretakers with nutritional education and counseling on good feeding practices as well as on preventing and controlling diarrhea and malaria and seeking treatment promptly when their children are sick. Timothy Spassi, the Star Vision Kampala.